In theoretical computer science and formal language theory, a regular language, also called a rational language, is a formal language that can be expressed using a regular expression in the strict sense of the latter notion used in theoretical computer science, as opposed to many regular expressions engines provided by modern programming languages, which are augmented with features that allow recognition of languages that cannot be expressed by a classic regular expression. Expression. Alternatively, a regular language can be defined as a language recognized by a finite automaton. The equivalence of regular expressions and finite automata is known as Kleene's theorem after American mathematician Stephen Cole Kleene. In the Chomsky hierarchy, regular languages are defined to be the languages that are generated by type 3 grammars, regular grammars. Regular languages are very useful in input parsing and programming language design. Topic: <laughs> Formal definition. The collection of regular languages over an alphabet sigma is defined recursively as follows: the empty language O, and the empty string language epsilon are regular languages. For each a element of sigma a belongs to sigma, the singleton language a is a regular language. If A and B are regular languages, then AB union, AB concatenation, and A asterisk clean star are regular languages. No other languages over sigma are regular, see regular expression for its syntax and semantics. Note that the above cases are in effect the defining rules of regular expression. Examples <laughs> 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 All finite languages are regular, in particular the empty string language epsilon equals O asterisk is regular. Other typical examples include the language consisting of all strings over the alphabet A, B, which contain an even number of as, or the language consisting of all strings of the form, several as followed by several bs. A simple example of a language that is not regular is the set of strings a -N -B -N, N Intuitively, it cannot be recognized with a finite automaton, since a finite automaton has finite memory and it cannot remember the exact number of A's. Techniques to prove this fact rigorously are given below. Equivalent formalisms A regular language satisfies the following equivalent properties It is the language of a regular expression by the above definition It is the language accepted by a nondeterministic finite automaton NFA It is the language accepted by a deterministic finite automaton DFA it can be generated by a regular grammar. It is the language accepted by an alternating finite automaton. It can be generated by a prefix grammar. It can be accepted by a read-only Turing machine. It can be defined in monadic second-order logic it is recognized by some finite monoid m, meaning it is the preimage w element of sigma asterisk f w element of s of a subset s of a finite monoid m under a monoid homomorphism f sigma asterisk m from the free monoid on its alphabet. The number of equivalence classes of its syntactic relation. Tilde is finite this number equals the number of states of the minimal deterministic finite automaton accepting L properties 9, and 10, are purely algebraic approaches to define regular languages. A similar set of statements can be formulated for a monoid M sigma asterisk. In this case, equivalence over M leads to the concept of a recognizable language. Some authors use one of the above properties different from 1 
as alternative definition of regular languages. Some of the equivalences above, particularly those among the first four formalisms, are called Kleene's theorem in textbooks. Precisely which one or which subset is called such varies between authors. One textbook calls the equivalence of regular expressions and NFAs one and two above Kleene's theorem. Another textbook calls the equivalence of regular expressions and DFAs one and three above Kleene's theorem. Two other textbooks first prove the expressive equivalence of NFAs and DFAs two and three, and then state Kleene's theorem as the equivalence between regular expressions and finite automata, the latter said to describe recognizable languages. A linguistically oriented text first equates regular grammars for above with DFAs and NFAs, calls the languages generated by any of these regular, after which it introduces regular expressions which it terms to describe rational languages, and finally states Kleene's theorem as the coincidence of regular and rational languages. Other authors simply define rational expression and regular expressions as synonymous and do the same with rational languages and regular languages topic <laughs> closure properties the regular languages are closed under the various operations that is if the languages k and l are regular so is the result of the following operations the set theoretic Boolean operations, union KL, intersection KL, and complement L, hence also relative complement KL. The regular operations, KL, concatenation KL, and clean star L. The trio operations, string homomorphism, inverse string homomorphism, and intersection with regular languages. As a consequence they are closed under arbitrary finite state transductions, like quotient K, L with a regular language. Even more, regular languages are closed under quotients with arbitrary languages, if L is regular then L, K is regular for any K. The reverse or mirror image, L R. Given a nondeterministic finite automaton to recognize L, an automaton for LR can be obtained by reversing all transitions and interchanging starting and finishing states. This may result in multiple starting states, epsilon transitions can be used to join them. <laughs> Decidability properties Given two deterministic finite automata A and B, it is decidable whether they accept the same language. As a consequence, using the above closure properties, the following problems are also decidable for arbitrarily given deterministic finite automata A and B, with accepted languages LA and LB, respectively. Containment, is LALB. Disjointness, is LALB equals Emptiness, is LA equals Universality, is LA equals sigma asterisk Membership, given a element of sigma asterisk, is a element of LB. For regular expressions, the universality problem is NP complete already for a singleton alphabet. For larger alphabets, that problem is PSPACE complete. If regular expressions are extended to allow also a squaring operator, with A2 denoting the same as double A, still just regular languages can be described, but the universality problem has an exponential space lower bound, and is in fact complete for exponential space with respect to polynomial time reduction. Topic. 
Complexity results In computational complexity theory, the complexity class of all regular languages is sometimes referred to as regular or reg and equals DSPACE 1. The decision problems that can be solved in constant space the space used is independent of the input size. Regular does not equal AC0, since it trivially contains the parity problem of determining whether the number of one bit in the input is even or odd and this problem is not in AC0. On the other hand, regular does not contain AC0, because the nonregular language of palindromes, or the nonregular language 0 n 1 n n element of n display style 0 caret n 1 caret n n in math b n can both be recognized in ac0 if a language is not regular it requires a machine with at least omega log log n space to recognize where n is the input size in other words, DSPACE -O log log n equals the class of regular languages. In practice, most nonregular problems are solved by machines taking at least logarithmic space. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location in the Chomsky hierarchy. To locate the regular languages in the Chomsky hierarchy, one notices that every regular language is context-free. The converse is not true, for example the language consisting of all strings having the same number of A's as B's is context-free but not regular. To prove that a language such as this is not regular, one often uses the myhill narode theorem or the pumping lemma among other methods. Important subclasses of regular languages include finite languages, those containing only a finite number of words. These are regular languages, as one can create a regular expression that is the union of every word in the language. Star-free languages, those that can be described by a regular expression constructed from the empty symbol, letters, concatenation and all Boolean operators including complementation but not the clean star, this class includes all finite languages. The number of words in a regular language Let S L N display style S underscore L N denote the number of words of length N display style N in L display style L. The ordinary generating function for L is the formal power series S. L Z equals N zero S L N Z N display style S underscore L Z equals sum underscore N G E Q zero S underscore L N Z carrot N the generating function of a language L is a rational function if L is regular. Hence for any regular language L L there exists an integer constant n 0 display style n underscore 0 complex constants lambda 1 Lambda k display style lambda underscore one l dots lambda underscore k and complex polynomials p one x p k x 
display style p underscore one x l dots p underscore k x such that for every n n zero display style n g e q n underscore zero the number s l n display style s underscore l n of words of length n display style n in l display style l is s l n equals p 1 n lambda 1 n plus plus p k n lambda k n Display style s underscore l n equals p underscore one n lambda underscore one caret n plus d o t s b plus p underscore k n lambda underscore k caret n. Thus, non-regularity of certain languages l display style l can be proved by counting the words of a given length in l. Display style L. Consider, for example, the Dyke language of strings of balanced parentheses. The number of words of length two n display style two n in the Dyke language is equal to the Catalan number c n four n n. Three two Pi Display style C underscore N sim FRAC four carat N N carat three halves SQRT Pi Which is not of the form P N Lambda N Display style P N Lambda carat N Witnessing the non-regularity of the Dyke language, care must be taken since some of the eigenvalues lambda i display style lambda underscore i could have the same magnitude. For example, the number of words of length n display style n in the language of all even binary words is not of the form. P N Lambda N Display style P N Lambda carrot N But the number of words of even or odd length are of this form, the corresponding eigenvalues are two minus two Display style two minus two in general, for every regular language there exists a constant d display style d such that for all a display style a the number of words of length d m plus a display style dm plus a is asymptotically C A M P A Lambda A M Display style C underscore A M carrot P underscore a Lambda underscore a carrot M The zeta function of a language L is Zeta L Z equals exp n 0 s l n z n n 
Display style zeta underscore L Z equals EXP left sum underscore N G E Q zero S underscore L N F R A C Z carrot N N right the zeta function of a regular language is not in general rational, but that of an arbitrary cyclic language is. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. The notion of a regular language has been generalized to infinite words, see omega automata, and to trees, see tree automaton. Rational set generalizes the notion of regular, rational language to monoids that are not necessarily free. Likewise, the notion of a recognizable language by a finite automaton has namesake as recognizable set over a monoid that is not necessarily free. Howard Straubing notes in relation to these facts that the term regular language is a bit unfortunate. Papers influenced by Eilenberg's monograph often use either the term recognizable language, which refers to the behavior of automata, or rational language, which refers to important analogies between regular expressions and rational power series. In fact, Eilenberg defines rational and recognizable subsets of arbitrary monoids. The two notions do not, in general, coincide. This terminology, while better motivated, never really caught on, and regular language is used almost universally. Rational series is another generalization, this time in the context of a formal power series over a semiring. This approach gives rise to weighted rational expressions and weighted automata. In this algebraic context, the regular languages corresponding to Boolean weighted rational expressions are usually called rational languages. Also in this context, Kleene's theorem finds a generalization called the kleene schutzenberger theorem. Induction Notes <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>